for the sixth time this year, city police investigating the murder of a young person. The latest victim is Isaiah Carter. The 16-year-old was shot near his high school just over 24 hours ago. And tonight, police are still searching for the killer. We have team coverage this evening with Abba Joy Burnett and Stefan Dingle. We'll start with Abba Joy, who has more in the investigation and the reward police hope will help to solve this crime. Abba Joy. Vic and Nikki, that reward, it is $1,000. Metro Crime Stoppers announced the amount earlier today as they search for tips in this murder. A sixth young person killed in the city of Baltimore so far this year. Baltimore City Police is dealing with another homicide of a child. 16-year-old Isaiah Carter was shot near his school, Patterson High, Monday afternoon. He was in Joseph Ely Park when the gunshots echoed through the air. Police say backpacks left unattended at the scene is a sign other students may have been there and witnessed it. But tonight, no suspect has been arrested. We don't have any persons of interest. All we know is that there were multiple young people, we believe, running in different directions. Metro Crime Stoppers is hoping an $8,000 reward will lead to tips that will crack the case. Just a little over two months since 2023, two dozen young people have been shot in Baltimore City. According to city police, 18 of those young people survived their gunshot wounds, but six others did not. Every single murder, Average Joy, impacts me deeply, but it goes to another level for me when it's a young person. Mayor Brandon Scott says investments in community programs, mentorship systems, and anti-violence groups remain a top priority, but he's when calling on the entire city somebody, to step up. There's some adult that knows that these young people are carrying those guns. And if you're not saying something to them and challenging them and they're sleeping in your house or sleeping in your family member's house, this is also on you. This is on all of us. This is about how do we as a city reconcile and address conflict in ways that are productive, that are healthy, and then don't result with a child losing his or her life. Patterson High was closed today, but teachers and students were able to go into the building if they needed counseling, and school will resume tomorrow. And as you know, this is a citywide issue. There are many community members who are talking about solutions. We're going to continue our team coverage now with Stefan Dingle with that angle of the story. Stefan.